also to mention, just because I forgot to include this in the video, which is actually a big important part of Revival Goku's kit, is that he is a Revival unit, which is great and is very good in this meta of very hard-hitting OP units such as Revival Gohan, uh, LF Gohan, all these units. That's great, but I feel like him having no sub-count manipulation doesn't really warrant the fact that he matters that much um, in that aspect, because you look at Revival Gohan, who can have sub-count manipulation from himself, right, with his card that he can do, uh, LF Goten allows that, and even Super, or Super Saiyan Gohan, the Zenkai, allows sub-count manipulation on that team. This guy only has that with the Vados, and that's very more specific with the green cards, which only is going to be drawn once from this guy's main ability, pre-revival, and then there you're just kind of banking on timer counts because there's no other sub-count manipulation on his team or for him. So while revival is a great ability, I don't think he utilizes it the best compared to other units that have it, like Gohan and even Cell, because he also gets sub-count down while the enemy is attacking your allies. He can also do the thing where he manipulates Rising Rushes to cater to your favor or whoever's using that Revival unit, and you can kind of pick and choose who gets rushed while this Goku only has Vados and in it of himself doesn't manipulate subcounts as well. So with that, I still stand by my opinion at the end of this video, but I just want to include this in the beginning because that is a big aspect of him that I didn't mention. Alright, so in this one, I've been meaning to make this video for a while now, but I've just been holding it bad because, you know, there's usually been something releasing, something else to talk about that's more important, but I feel like it's time to finally make this video because this guy has returned so often recently on the, you know, new banner with Majub and GT Goku. He's on the Legends Ultimate Pickup banner, the LF Frieza banner. He he's on a bunch of banners right now. And then we have Super Saiyan Blue Goku. Now, I've heard a lot of debate and argument that this guy, let's say 7 stars to 9 stars, is better than this Zenkai 7 Super Saiyan Blue Goku. I'm gonna discuss this, right? I'm not gonna just flat out say wrong or right, which, I mean, I could and very honestly feel like that is valid. I wanna discuss this. So, to look at Revival Goku, because, again, people really are sucking this guy off. As if he's like the new age Gogeta Blue. And what I mean by that is people at first didn't think Gogeta Blue is that great. And then they kind of come to realize that Gogeta Blue is really fucking great. Same thing with this Revival Goku. At first people thought, okay, Purple Hit's obviously better. And then the Revival Goku here isn't that great. Now people are sucking this guy off like he is the reincarnation of God himself. <laughs> Just to look at him real quick, right? So look at his stats. Before he revives, we're going to look at every part of his kit, then every part of Super Saiyan Blue Goku's kit. This is going to be very in-depth, uh, team-wise, unit-wise comparison, every single part of their kits compared to each other, okay? Just hope you guys understand. I'm going to go very in-depth. None of my opinion will be processed in this video, though I have used the Zenkai 7 Super Saiyan Blue Goku a lot more because I personally like him more than this rival Goku. I will test out this Rival Goku in the coming days after this video, obviously, to actually, you know, warrant my opinion or have it be changed. But to go over them, before Revival stats, 216k strike attack, blast attack is 203k, double defense here, obviously, at 144 and 147, critical, 4.48, and then key restore speed is basically 2.5k. Alright, so to look at his arts... Normal Strike, Normal Blast, 1929, same cost as always for every other unit that's not Zenkai. Then his blue card is False Blow, deals major impact damage. Inflicts enemies 100% downgrade of key recovery for 15 timer counts on hit. So, if you don't know, EX Whis has that as a main ability. Uh, Vados has that as a main, uh, green card. So his blue card is essentially Vados' green card, right? Cool. Surge of Vigor green card it's an aoe green card with a long animation you miss it you get comboed understand that that is a very big downfall this guy applies flying effects to self pawn activation restores key by 30 plus 20 percent to damage inflicted 15 timer counts and it can combo into a strike blast or a blue card main ability facing the death match again this is before revival draw special arts card next restores own key by 50 okay cool requires only 10 counts then his the ability is double defense for Saiyan and God Key, which is very good for a very tanky Saiyan team of Super Saiyan 3, Goku, Angel Vegeta, this guy. Boom, that's triple double defenses on a team. Then you just rock 
I don't know, name a Goku for your double attack, and then some other units to get your attacks going. So, very good Z ability at 14 stars. It is 33%, so that's very high. Unique ability, self-resuscitation. Revi revive with 50% uh, health when own health re reaches 0. Plus 20% damage inflictor, 15 time counts when this character evades an enemy attack with a vanishing step. Plus 20% damage inflictor, 15 time counts after enemy attack is over. Okay. Lethal Showdown. Nullifies own attribute downgrades and abnormal conditions from battle start for 30 time counts. Applies flying effects to self when this character enters the battlefield. Plus 50% damage inflictor for, for 20 time counts and reduce damage speed by 20% for 20 time counts. So. He'll get more damage when the enemy attack is over, so you want to bring him in the end of the con. At the end of a combo, I can't speak. At the end of a combo, because you'll have that 50% there, he had that 20% there, 20%, that's 90% total if you're getting all his uniques, which isn't going to happen all the time, but it could. You most likely get 70% when you're comboing with this guy. Then you have his green card that can give you 20%, but again, if you miss it, you're going to get comboed. So overall, with his stats here, at before revival, he's not very impressive. Uh, only 20% cut on a revival based unit that is a defense type is not very good and his defense is to look at let's say Zenkai 7 this blue Gohan that just dropped is a lot higher with about 40k more uh, strike defense than this revival Goku now to look at him after revival stats don't really change <laughs> strike attack basically same blast attack basically same uh, everything basically is the same nothing really changed here uh, strike and blast same cost still this, same thing for a blue card, same thing for the green card, I think. Uh, actually, might go up by 10 to key. No, it's actually the same exact thing. Okay. Main ability. <sighs> Spark of Rebellion. Draw a special move arts card next. Restore his own key by 50. Plus 50% next special move damage inflicted for 20 time accounts. Actually, to any. Oh, wow. To all special moves. So he has like a blue card and another blue card. Okay. 50%. Uh, given his blue card doesn't have blast armor, but you know. Then he gradually restores his own health to each timer count for 60 timer counts. Okay, his ability obviously doesn't change. Moment of Resurrection applies flying effects to self upon revival. Plus 20% damage inflicted cannot be cancelled. The reduced damage by 30% for 15 timer counts. Then minus 5 to strike and blast arts cost cannot be cancelled. Okay. Then he gets plus 20% damage inflicted for 30 timer counts when this character evades an uh, enemy attack with a sidestep. Then plus 20% to damage inflicted for 30 timer counts after its enemy attack is over. So again... You'll most likely have, what, 20, 40. Most likely 40%. Maybe sometimes you'll get his full 60% from that full that first uh, unique. Lethal Showdown, it goes from 20% damage received reduction to 40%. So, okay, let's look. He'll get 40%, usually, maybe, 60%. Then 60% here, so that's 100% damage inflicted in normal situations, 120 in ideal. This blue card can do... Up to 170% damage inflicted because they stack on top of each other in a perfect situation. Now, the problem is <laughs> his stats. <laughs> um, look, these stats are bad. Um, I understand why. He's a revival unit. I get it. His stats aren't good. Um, it's more his team that's going to carry him, in my opinion. This guy has a very good tanky setup with, you know, Raditz as your health bench. Um, you want to run a full Goku team. You could run Kakarot Goku as your health bench, really. Uh, you know, you have a lot of defensive uh, Z abilities with Super Saiyan Goku, Angel Vegeta, this guy himself. This guy isn't particularly great. It's more that his team is good. Now, another team that he's good on would be God Key because Vados exist. You pop this guy on any team with double health equips. Let's say the Battle of Saiyans equip and then that one equip from the USTR shop. With like Goku, I think, getting his ass beat. Um, they both give help, and you pop that on this Goku, and when he revives, it's going to be the same thing as Revival Gohan. He's going to have a little bit more than 50%. He'll have like 65%, 70% health back, because obviously it scales. If he has more health to begin with, his healing will be greater than if he had no health equips overall. So him paired with specific units, I could see the argument that he's better than the uh, Zenkai 7 Super Saiyan Blue Goku. But him alone... Doesn't look too impressive, if you ask me. Just looking at those, looking at his stats, looking at his max damage inflicted, 180%, well, actually, let's just say 160, right? Because you're really not going to get both those uniques. Most situations, he'll have 160% damage inflicted. That's cool. Now let's look at this guy, and 
Titan. No, that guy also has no blast armor on his blue card and his green card's a long animation. Just please understand that. He draws a green on main for his pre-revival, then he draws a blue on main with his post-revival. That's great, but neither of them are too effective on their own usage of him, at least. Maybe with Vados, the green card's useful, and then the blue card could be useful on, let's say, Gogeta Blue if you run him with him, because he'll mine his health restore, right? Just understand, his main abilities really aren't that great for himself. They're more great for his allies, even though they don't do much for them. They give them the card that can actually change up a match. Now, Super Saiyan Blue, Zenkai 7 Goku. To look at his stats, he's a range type, by the way. That guy's a defense type, this guy's a range type. Look at his stats. 263 strike attack, not bad. Blast attack, 278. Not amazing for a blast based unit, I'll be honest. It could be a lot higher. Uh, if you look at Green Transforming Goku Black, he has almost 300k, if not a little above it. Then, double defense with 184 and 178k. Pretty good for a range type, considering the other guy is a defense type, and he has about 40k less. This is around the same area that this new defense type Super Saiyan, or yeah, Super Saiyan Gohan has. I was gonna say Super Saiyan Blue Gohan. <laughs> and then Critical 4.8, well, a little higher than Rival Goku, and then Kira Source Speed is a, what, a little lower than Rival Goku? But his uniques make up for it. So look at his arts, they are cheaper because he has a Zenkai unit, so 18, 28. Blue card, 49, green card, 11, then obviously ultimate is 19. No special effects on his strike or blast, obviously. Then his blue card deals major impact damage plus 20% damage inflicted for 20 timer counts upon activation. So even if you miss it, he'll get that damage inflicted because, well, he activated it, right? And it's a quick animation, so you can't get out of it. Obviously, being a beam, that's a good thing. Green card, the real fight starts now. This green card is crazy and will always be good. Uh, I'll be honest, this green card will never be bad to any unit that has a similar effect to it. Restores own health by 10% and key by 30, plus 20% damage inflicted or 20 timer counts. Amazing. And then his ultimate, God Kamehameha, deals major impact damage, or massive impact damage, that's actually a bigger multiplier, and then applies the falling effects to self upon activation, plus 50% to ultimate damage inflicted or 3 timer counts, gain attribute upgrade, minus 30% sustained enemy sustained damage cut effects for 3 timer counts. Okay. Looks pretty neat. His green card looks pretty cool. Blue card's a quick animation. And ultimate, you know, nullifies their cut a little bit. Pretty neat compared to Revival Goku so far. Main ability. I'll hit you. I'll. I can't. Fuck! Let me repeat that. I'll hit you with all I've got. Draw the ultimate arts card, God Kamehameha, next. Restores own key by 30. And restores own vanish gauge by 100%. This is also timeless. Uh, if he got damage inflicted on it, it'd be greater. But, I mean, this is enough, right? He's getting the key to do the ultimate, which, obviously, units nowadays are always going to get that, with, you know, exception to the blue movie Gohan, who didn't get that. But, most units will get that, you know, key back to actually pop that card. So, you pop your main, you can pop the card into it. It just chains easier for the player itself. But the timeless thing is, restores own vanish gauge by 100%. He gets double vanish. Uh, you know, you could use this to... Trick your opponent, you can use this to bait your opponent, like you're gonna maybe pop your main, maybe not, because they'll expect you to pop it if you already vanished, and maybe they'll not expect you to pop it, then you pop it. It allows a mind game to be played with this guy of, is he gonna pop his main or not? Because I know he gets vanished back on it, I just wanna know if he's gonna do it. Uh, even before this guy Zenkai, he had this vanish gauge recovery by 100%, and it was insane then. It's something that will never be bad, and is a very... I mean, great thing for the Super Saiyan Blue Goku. They did him very justice when he did Zenkai him. And before his Zenkai when he had this anyways. Z ability is not as good with Blast Tag and Defense for just God Key. Obviously, the Revival Goku is double tags. Uh, this guy is just God Key. With God Key being more, I mean, you can run a Blast Base or Strike Base God Key. I think a Strike Base God Key mixed with the Blast Base is actually better. With, let's say, like Super Saiyan God Vegeta or Super Saiyan Blue uh, Gogeta. And then Vados, it's more, you know, this guy would be ranged, Vados would be ranged, but Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta or Super Saiyan God Vegeta would be strike base. So, mixing it, you know, it's not the worst thing. Obviously, he has a Zenkai ability here, Blue and God Key characters. It's not that useful. Uh, maybe for himself, it's the most useful thing. Uh, you, you know, who's a really good Blue God Key? This, this guy, Revival Goku, who is also a Blue God Key. And then you have Vegito Blue? You're not really gonna run Vegito Blue, right? So, not the greatest Zenkai ability for the units that are currently out, but I assume as we get, you know, more units, it'll be better and better. 
Now look at his uniques. Uh, <laughs> now we're really fighting. Plus 15% danger inflicted when battle starts cannot be canceled. The falling effects occur depending on the number of fuck the number of timer counts elapsed since the start of the battle. 15 counts elapsed. Plus 15% damage inflicted and 25% to own key recovery cannot be canceled. Everything here is uncancelable. You can see that. Just understand that. 30 counts elapsed, plus 15% to the damage inflicted and 35% to own key recovery. Okay. 50 counts elapsed, plus 15% to damage inflicted and increased card draw speed by one level. So, off his first unique, right? Let's just look at his first unique. His old, his main's giving no damage, okay? First unique, he is getting 15%, 30%, 45%, 60% to damage inflicted with higher stats and being a Zenkai. Okay, 60% just from one unique and he has four uniques, all right? And card draw speed. All right, just understand that with very high defenses. Okay, just getting that out there and card draw speed, but okay. And you will get all these uniques uh, in a normal PvP match unless you are just getting cremated and or cremating the enemy to where it wouldn't even matter, right? So in the most PvP matches, you will get this 50 counts elapsed. I promise you, I've played enough matches with this guy. Sorry, but it's my turn now. The falling effects occur from battle start for four or five timer counts. Reduced damage seed by 35%. Cannot be canceled. Okay. Nullifies own attribute downgrades and our normal conditions. So like poison, uh, paralyze, bleed, all that can't affect them unless they cancel that. But, you know, most likely no units will be canceling it. They'll just try to inflict you with it. So he won't get any of that. Majority of matches, uh, I'd say 99% of matches, he won't get any of those ailments. And... 35% cut with 180k defense stats is pretty good, given it does go away after 45 timer counts. He is meant to be an early game tank, while the Revival Goku is meant to be a more late game tank, because obviously after his Revival, he'll have a lot more cut than this guy would even have, right? But no damage buffs there, so only 60% still, alright? Just acknowledge this. Pinnacle of Divinity. The following effects occur upon landing a strike or blast arts hit. Restores own key by 5 Plus 10% to damage inflicted by ally tag god key for 15 timer counts. That's really good. Uh, if you don't know purple super saiyan blue vegeta, he has a similar effect to where every card he does, it is buffing his allies, right? This Goku is none the wiser. He is the same exact thing, no difference at all, maybe just a little bit of damage, but him being as formidable with his stats as he is with these damage buffs he's getting, with this reduced uh, damage received he's getting, Basically, early game, this guy's going to tank well and support you decent enough to be a, you know, a unit you would run to lead your matches because he can support if you catch somebody and if he's going to be eating hits, oh well, he has 35% cut anyways, and it doesn't matter. So, not too bad for uh, basically free Zenkai 7. And then the last unique, the ultimate Saiyan, plus 15% 15 to damage inflicted when this character enters the battlefield cannot be stacked. So that's 75% with all his unique so far. Applies the falling effects to self once 45 timer counts have elapsed from battle start. Plus 15% to damage inflicted cannot be cancelled. Plus 15% to blast damage inflicted cannot be cancelled. So that's 90%. And then for blast, it is 105% damage inflicted. Now this, this works on himself, right? He's god key. So this guy is going to get 105%. Let's say you do four cards. Every card following, he's getting 10% damage more. So let's say you do four you will have 145%, given you could probably max it out to 5 cards. Let's let's say you max it out because you know how to charge step or sidestep, and you get 155% to his blast damage, and what? It would be uh, minus 15% from that. It'd be 140% to damage inflicted overall, and 150 to his blast damage. Okay, then you look at his stats and compare it. It makes sense why people would say this guy is better. Look at his stats. I mean, look at Revival Goku stats. I, this is a typical starred Revival Goku. This isn't some, you know, super, I can't even speak, super low or super high statted Revival Goku. I, I, I can't, I can't see the justification to say uh, Zenkai 7 Super Saiyan Blue Goku is worse. Uh, we just looked at all of the kits. Overall, uh, damage inflicted. Technically, Super Saiyan Blue Revival Goku will have more damage inflicted. But the lower stats don't help you. Uh, the worst green card, the worst blue card. And if you're really thinking about it logically, he's only doing more damage because he has that 50% to his blue card damage. But if you take that off, he only has 100% Revival Goku. 
while Super Saiyan Blue Goku has 140 to everything after you do a full combo, or let's say you do like two or three cards, he's still above uh, over 110 to 130% damage inflicted with all his uniques, while Revival Goku would be at just 100%, where he's more reliant on his allies. Now, Super Saiyan Blue Goku is also a unit that can rely on his allies because obviously you have the Vado switching. Uh, she can get card draw speed up to two levels and get more green cards for Super Saiyan Blue Goku, which will give him more healing, more sustain, even after he loses his 35% damage reduction after 45 counts. He'll still be able to sustain better than Revival Goku just based off pure stats, uh, based off pure equipments you can run in this guy. There's really no negative to Super Saiyan Blue Goku, as many negatives as there are to Revival. Again, with his green card being a long animation and not healing him, um, he's relying on Vados to get healed, right? Just like Gogeta Blue kind of relies on Vados to work well. Uh, Gogeta Blue can work well without her, but he works a lot, you know, worse without her. Same thing with uh, Revival Goku, uh, the blue card, again, a dash forward. No Blast Armor, which is very unfortunate. It does have a good mechanic of minus 100% to key recovery to the enemy, basically forcing them to just stand there and charge or make them switch out and kind of go into a disadvantage situation. But besides that, I don't see too much draw to Revival Goku. Again, I've heard a lot of chit-chat that he is this great and he's going to do so much better than Super Saiyan Blue Zenkai 7. I don't see it. Uh, firstly, Super Saiyan Blue Zenkai 7, he's a free 7 star and a free Zenkai 7. Basically, a free Zenkai 7. Because you could do, what, 20cc daily, get him Zenkai 7, USTR shop, get him Zenkai 7. And then once you clear him part of the story, which, if you even need to, you should have this guy 14 stars, if not close, by now, if you've been playing for a little bit of time. You get him the free 7 stars. While Revival Goku, you gotta summon, summon, summon. And his, I mean... His downsides are, in my opinion, more impactful than his upsides, right? Like, I don't see the liking of Super Saiyan Blue Revival Goku as much as I see Super Saiyan Blue Zenkai 7 Goku. Because when I use Super Saiyan Blue Zenkai 7, I'm like, okay, I'm going to heal with this green. I'm going to sustain these combos. I'm going to start with Super Saiyan Blue Zenkai 7 so I can... Uh, get some more damage from my God Vegeta when I switch into him. He'll do crazy damage. Super Saiyan Blue Goku will do decent damage. I, I don't really worry when I run Super Saiyan Blue Goku. I'm never like, oh my God, this guy's going to be so bad. When I see Revival Goku against me, I'm kind of just like, okay, like he's going to die. He'll be tedious to kill, I guess, but he's not going to do anything that's going to like... He won't be a unit that can kill me and make me lose an entire match. Super Saiyan Blue Zenkai 7 Goku is a unit I've had a situation where I can win an entire match with him alone and lose an entire match from him alone. He, he is just that good of a unit. While Rival Goku can't offer that, I mean, scare. Like, he can't do that. I, I just never see it. I never feel it. Even against high star ones, I'm never just like, oh my goodness, he's gonna fuck me up. He never fucks me up. I don't think I've ever been in a situation where, like, this Rival Goku's so good, I can't beat him. What the hell is this juggernaut? Like, he's not that. He wants to be that, but... Him being more just, uh, <laughs> worse stats. The worst stats hurt him. It's the same thing with this, uh, Blue Zenkai Super Saiyan Gohan. He has good stats, but then he has the damage inflicted thing. It's literally just a trade-off that Gohan gets no damage inflicted while this Goku has no stats. It's literally just a swip swap, and then these units will both be great. But, I don't know. I don't think Super Saiyan Blue Rival Goku was ever meant to be as good as Super Saiyan Blue Zenkai 7. They obviously, you know, value Zenkai's now in a more similar era to, you know, normal featured sparkings. But when Super Saiyan Blue Zenkai 7 dropped, they didn't really think, yeah, this guy's going to be passed up. Because they made him really good. I mean, he's not, you know, subject to any team. Maybe with just his buffs, he wants to be on God Key, obviously. But besides that, he's good on every team you can run him on. And he doesn't really struggle in most circumstances from my experience. Let me know what you guys think, if you guys agree or disagree. And if you are on Team Revival Goku, let me know why. I am obviously on the side of Super Saiyan Blue Zenkai 7 Goku being the better unit. But if you disagree, inform me, enlighten me, and maybe I will do a follow-up slash I will showcase Revival Goku in the future with his max, max uh, stuff. Maybe not Zenkai buff because I don't typically run Super Saiyan Blue. Zenkai 7 Zenkai buff, so if I were going to show off Revival Goku, I'd show him with maybe one Zenkai buff and that's it. 
uh, to kind of balance it out. So I'm not like, oh my god, he's so much better because all these Zenkai buffs. No. Use him on a more balanced team, a uh, god key-esque team, and see what he can do there. Again, let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you guys in the next one.